Hi everyone, welcome back to B17 The Mighty Ape Redux. Here we are with the crew of Misbehaving. Five missions complete. 20 to go. <laughs> it's still a long way. We're only just beginning our journey. Uh, but today is another day, so let's head into the briefing room. Find out where we're going. Uh, March the 16th, 1944. The Bremen oil refinery is our primary target. The Fockball factory at Bremen is our secondary, and the port is our tertiary. Ordnance selected for this mission will be 6 times 500 pound general purpose, 12 times 100 pound incendiary. Distance to farthest target will be 1163 miles. Fighter escort for this mission will be two squadrons of P 47s. Uh, so the primary target has um, flak strength of high, fighter strength of moderate. Priority is very high, damage none. Uh, the Focqueville Factory. Um, ooh, flak, fighter and priority is high. No current damage. And the Bremen Port has high flak, moderate fighter, high priority, no damage. Right. Let's have a look at the recon film then. So, a bit of countryside to begin with, then we come into some more populated areas. Then industrial area, and there you can see the two cooling towers, some storage tanks at the far end, and um, some pipework and other gubbins in the middle. There's our river going around it as well. Okay, that should be relatively easy to um, check out. Let's have a look at the route. So, from uh, our base here, we'll be heading northeast. We're going to be heading high, actually, and then diving down, doing the strikes on the targets, and then, ooh, clipping this as we come back. We may need to just jiggle this a little bit. I don't want to go quite so far north. We'll probably come here, because the navigators can get ever so lost out there with no um, visual landmarks to, uh, to reference. So we'll probably hug the coast a little bit more. Um, is it worth changing? We've got Bremen Haven here. Uh, I think we might come sort of where this estuary is and then cut down. Uh, there's no point flying through this flak for no apparent gain. Um, yeah, these Luftwaffe pilots, if they send them up, if we're here or if we're here, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't have thought they'd still come up. And then probably a tighter turn, and we'll try and cut out here rather than going all the way down there and then that looks good um, they've got us what what's the altitude they got us 15,000 tends to be the default 15,000 yeah we'll see if we can um, tweak that in flight but yeah not too bad Bremen it's a bit of a challenge but um, one that I hopefully we're up to so let's head to the aircraft so here we go, misbehaving. The crew are warming the, uh, starting and warming up the engines. Now, while they're doing that, let's head into the uh, navigator's station and um, tweak the flight plan a little. Right in the navigator's station, as engine one roars into life. Uh, let's have a look at the route. So, ignore that for the moment. Well, I don't want to go all the way up there. That is quite the journey so let's bring that down here we'll hug the uh, the, the, the little islands here and actually I think we'll continue on continue continue on until about here and then we'll just bring draw everything this way a little bit the initial points we'll head down there and then uh, we'll straighten it up that way Bring our rally point up like that, and then snake our way out that way. Yeah, that looks good. Happy, right? Um, let's go up. Let's add another ten thousand. Let's go up to uh, twenty-five thousand. Not comfortable going in at fifteen thousand feet. See, oh yes, yeah, a bit low, isn't it? Always feels a bit low. Maybe later in the war when there's not as much um, Luftwaffe. Opposition, but you know it's, it's it's the flak as well. The flak is what really gets you. Taxi to runway. All right. Okay. 
Oil engines are started. We're now on our taxi roll. And I'll just get all these set up and ready to go. Right, here we are. Bringing her around for the taxi. There you go, all lined up, ready to go. Waiting for the call. Are cleared for there we go. Right. Feed in the power. Wait for the tail to come up. There's the tail. And gently ease her up. And away we go. Gear up. Beautiful. That's the bomb is still taxiing around. But misbehaving is up and starting to orbit. Join formation. Right, as we come over the English coast, it is 8.53 in the morning, just coming up to 25,000 feet now, speed 150, heading 077. Great, we'll just um, pop in to make sure the navigator is in the right place. Um, yeah, looks like he's not too far off. I did have to correct him already, or as we're coming over, he's staying there, but um, that's not too bad. So, as we um, head over, the cloud is, well, probably what you'd expect for March, fairly cloudy. Um, Hopefully it's a little bit better over Bremen, but um, we'll, we'll find out in a little while. But we've got a bit of a, a flight across the channel now, across the North Sea, uh, before we turn south and into the uh, the lion's den, as it were. So, yeah, it's going to be quite a quiet flight for the moment, so we'll just um, continue on with the cruise. That's the Dutch ghost down there. We seem to be roughly on target as well. Bandit, 7 o'clock high. What are they doing here? We're not even in... Oh, we, we must have strayed then. The map says we're not in Luftwaffe territory. That could be a navigational error then. There go our little friends. We must be closer to the coast than we thought. Bandit, six o'clock low. I see you. Yeah, he's, he's gone. And he just clipped the bomber as well. Must be a navigation error. I wasn't expecting any uh, Luftwaffe attention this early. That's um, yeah, we we'll have to just correct the navigator when we get a chance. But obviously, while the uh, the fighters at Focke-Wulf 190s, by the looks of it, uh, are in the area, then now uh, we'll concentrate on the main job of staying alive. Yeah, the 190 is a particularly nasty fighter when it comes to attacking bombers. With the amount of cannons and guns she has on her, Oof, she's nasty. So as it's calmed down, look, this is where we think we were. Now we were attacked about here, so we might have strayed a little bit closer to the coast than uh, we first feared. Um, so what we need to be looking at is for this little island here and be aiming just past this little island. So if we have a, have a look out. The cloud is such that we can't see the little islands, so that's... Um, Slightly annoying, but there we go. Well, there's the uh, set the S3 into Hamburg, so we're kind of on a trajectory over there. And on that wing, we've got um, a bit of land between those two. So that's that bit of land between those two, and we're aiming. Oh yeah, we probably are a little bit further south, and that's indicating. I might do a turn. Let's let's do a turn as we get to um, to that. So that'll just allow us to uh, take stock of where we are then to, uh, as we're turning. No time to worry. Oh, what I like, I took out one of the bomber. <laughs> oh. Bomb going down. Hopefully they can recover. 
seven o'clock level. Don't know who's who down there. I assume that's the baddie. <laughs> the baddie, the German. So he's getting fired upon by the uh, aircraft behind. Okay, we've got a number of bombers recovering, which is great to see. Welcome back, boys. Welcome back to the fold. Weather at primary target is believed to be stormy with nine tons of cloud at approximately 6,000 feet. Wonderful. Weather at secondary target is believed to be slightly better with seven tenths cloud at approximately 6,000 feet. Weather at tertiary target is believed to be fair with well, tertiary it is then. Feet. All right, we're going for the port. So we're on the bomb run, uh, and this is the best of the weather. Here comes the flak. It's supposed to be high, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was high fighter, high flak, high priority. Um, this is the best of it. Um, is that the port there? I'm not sure. I can see I can build uh, something there, so I might just bomb there for now. Uh, let's have a look. Short release because we are not bombing the length of it. Basically, we're bombing the um, the width of it. Um, one new feature: if you look in the top corner, the drift is now. Um, feature which is added to the uh, info stuff so you can see um, where the current drift is oh bloody hell that was that um, is also here this is the drift um, correction how much we put in there to correct the drift this cloud will clear who's that who's, who's that who's that who's that there's no ghost faces on them, so everyone's um, okay. Just been a bit noisy. So I think that is part of the port. But it's a little bit difficult to see, isn't it? As long as he doesn't go down injured right now, he should be okay. Right, so we got a break in the cloud. Yeah. As soon as it sort of comes over, it will see still no water at the moment. Starting to see some water. Right, where is this port? We've got buildings there, we've got buildings here. Right, navigator, that's, that's a job for you, sunshine. Right, so. Oh, wow. Fire out. Where do we bomb? We got a weird kind of distortion. I reckon we just bomb. Yeah? That's weird. Uh, let's bomb here. got some sort of slidey optics. Yes, a huge port, isn't it? Uh, in fact, we can um, extend this to bomb across the water as well. Um, right, let's get this back under control.
That's a massive port, isn't it? It's anywhere here. Might get a couple of ships. Yeah, with the moving, sliding um, visuals, that is a little concerning. Especially as some of the, the ships are not where their shadows are in the water, which is suggest there may not be there may be a slight glitch there somewhere. All we can do is put the bombs where we think we need to. Put them in the middle and hopefully the bomb damage assessment will be uh, generous to us. So here is the port. Oh, it looks like there's a there's a battleship or something there. We've got another little light cruiser here. Um, lots of merchant ships in there. We were aiming for this building in the middle, but they got this. Yeah, we could have bombed along here, couldn't we? There we go. Boom! We got a ship. We got the buildings in the middle. We've got another ship. So, um, well, yeah, it's, uh, we went straight down the middle, got two ships sunk, um, crane damaged, and this warehouse and whatever, this storage facility here, another crane damaged here. Yeah, maybe we should have bombed along that way, but tertiary target, we didn't really have much intel on it. Meantime, we got a few air holes in the, uh, Maybe they're speed holes to increase our uh, maximum cruise speed. Um, we'll be making our turn for. Well, we'll be heading back up there, won't we? Back down the uh, the sea. But um, so far, so good. Okay, our radio, our radio operator's just taken over from. No, Robert Brewer. He's um. He's one of our. Waste gunners. So don't tell me. John's there, John. He's not closest, but uh, I want you back on your gun, please. So John, our radio operator, is going to come and try and patch up the bombardier. Um, we saw him get shocked when we were on the bomb run. I assume he's been nicked by some flak, which has probably come through the navigator's windows again. As you can see, they're, they're smashed to high heaven. Uh, so yeah, we'll get... Um, Hopefully him patched up and back on the gun, but uh, for now we're just going to sail on. Right, he's getting some treatment now. Obviously we want to get John's skill up with the old medic. Good stuff, he's back up. And we continue on with our journey home. Well done, John. Okay, uh, there we go. Took three attempts, but we eventually got him to <laughs> follow the order to um, pick up our tail gunner, who's also gone down injured. Go on, John. We're not too far from home, so things should be okay. And there ahead is home base. We made it back for another successful mission. Good job, everyone. Just as we're orbiting, our navigator's gone down injured. Here comes John. Moving him out of the way. Are you going to actually help him, John, or are you just going to uh, sit him down? We don't need a navigator quite yet, but... Um, actually... Yeah, it's been badly hit. Um, right, but John, I want you to pick up the... Uh, him as best you can. Okay, let's um, let's take control and we'll bring it in for uh, landing. Coast looks clear. Let's uh, drop the gear. Make sure that's all coming down. Okay. Yep, that appears to be. Uh, 
and start deploying the flaps. Nice stable approach. Our uh, flaps look a bit um, holy on the uh, on the port side there. Okay, we've got an aircraft just crossing the mid section of the runway. We're not actually coming on the uh, the active. We're slightly off. We've got an, a bomber that looks like it's overrun. Is it? And gone onto the grass over there. One's overrun. I've lost concentration and I'm not applying the approach very well. There we go. Ooh, bit of a bounce. Oh wow. Get down. Throttle's closed, but we're just gaining speed somehow. Anyway, we're down. So, into mission debriefing. Oh. Oh. Um, so, March the 16th, 1944. Bremen Port was attacked, tertiary target. 1,199 miles we flew. We didn't lose any bombers, which is great. We didn't shoot down any fighters. Which is confusing. We, well, I guess we just didn't get the killing blow. The other bombers must have got the killing blows on them. That's really annoying. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We, we got back. It's another mission complete. That's something. Uh, near miss was the dom bomb damage assessment. Staff Sergeant Seeley, our tail gunner, medium wound. I'm surprised the navigator and the, the bombardier are not uh, listed on here. The bombardier went down numerous times with injuries, so... Maybe it's a clogged oxygen mask on his case and he was just passing out. I don't know. There's the bomb damage assessment. So, yeah, it's actually triggered where we've hit the uh, um, the ships and the cranes and the buildings. But uh, all, obviously the rest was just through the water. But, you know, near miss. We've still got credit for it. So that's okay. Not a terribly exciting mission, but we're, we're home. And that's the main point. Um, six missions complete six kills and um, yeah we're uh, we're good to go again uh, quick look in the oh, into the medical so um, can Ken Adair our bombardier original one with good bomb aiming is um, still recovering after the uh, the raid he got injured on 21st so he's got another week he's assigned to ground duties is he not? Is he a replacement then? I thought Ken was our original. I will have a look anyway. He's currently assigned to ground duties. Uh, George Wheeler, a bull turret gunner, av above average gunnery. He's been on three missions. Uh, he's back out in a week. He's returning to the aircraft. John Worsley, tail gunner. Is he our original? Above average gunnery. He's our original uh, gunnery, so. Uh, um, he's returning to the aircraft. That's fine. Uh, our pilot, Harland McKnight, above average piloting. He completed one, two, three, four, five missions. So he just sat this one out. He's back. Oh, in a couple of weeks. So he got a severe wound. Oh, blimey. Okay. William Say, the replacement tail gunner. He's got above average gunnery. He's completed three missions. Uh, he's currently set to return to the aircraft on the 30th but the, we've got the other tail gunner who's returning as well so I'll stick him onto ground duties for the moment uh, so that leaves us fit and healthy crew members uh, Brad Cubitt our bombardier he's got excellent bomb aiming uh, oh he is our original one that's probably why the other bomb aimer was um, set to ground duties so Brad's going to continue with us yeah okay cool uh, Charles Taylor Morale is low, probably he keeps getting injured, but not not enough to have a day off. Navigation is up to good. Oh, fantastic. So um, hopefully we won't get lost as much. Um, so yeah, his uh, his navigation skill is improving, which is great to see. 
James Tilly, replacement pilot. He's got average piloting. You've probably seen that from that landing. Uh, Drew Beasley, co-pilot. Um, good piloting. He's our original co-pilot, so he's all good. Top turret gunner, Keith Emig. Uh, above average gunnery. Uh, good technical, which is nice to see. Now, radio operator. Um, John Osnarek. Uh, first aid is average. I think it was average last time, so it hasn't improved this time. Matthew Bishop. Our bull turret gunner. Uh, he's done three missions with us. Um, above average gunnery. Left waist, Charles Marsh. Above average gunnery. He's been on quite a few missions. Um, Bert Lansfeld. Above average. Is he original? I can't remember now. Medium wound. So he has. he's returned to the aircraft replacing Brewer. Uh, and the tail gunner is currently occupied because our two our original and our replacement tail gunner are both in the medical wing receiving treatment for their wounds. So we'll get another, a third tail gunner next time probably. But that's okay. Uh, but yeah, six missions down. Nineteen to go. <laughs> oh, we get it. We're getting there slowly. We're ticking them off, and that's all you can do. Keep ticking them off and keep making it through. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.